yesterday was just all but flawless. Mm -hmm. He was punishing so many move after move after move. Anything his opponent wanted to throw out, just to throw it out, that he was like over spacing or behind his opponent or anything like that. Blue's punish game was just impeccable yesterday. So I think that Fizz is going to have to make that adjustment and not use those side signatures in the exact same way that he was using them before. Yeah, um, we'll we'll see if he decides to to keep a little bit more of a consistent play style in game one, and then maybe he'll bust it out in game two or game three. If they go to Small Brawl Haven, I, I could very well see him using those side signatures, though, because of just how much space that controls on the main stage. Small Brawl Haven is, again, a very small map, and Fizz with those icicles just taking out half the map, that's, that's scary. Three. We're going on to a similar uh, sized main platform okay. with the Shipwreck pick comparatively to Brawlhaven. Like the Blast Zones are not going to be nearly as close, but the actual just main play space area um, is similar size. But it is worth pointing out that these walls are significantly smaller. JK Zyder able to continue that string onto simple fantastic harp, uh, guitar play, getting them some, uh, some decent damage down on the red team. Remember to look at... Blue's Ragnar level. Okay. Because I didn't look at it again, and I want to know what it is. I think it's it's a, a reasonable level. It's not like a 19 or a 20. It's not something that he picks up relatively recently. Left side. Simple with the ground pound. Connects onto Fizz, and that's going to get the stock. JK Zyder tries to come back, but the Zyder slaps him away. Red team with the stock advantage. JK Zyder's weapon toss ended up hitting Simple and mm. almost hit him early enough. Like that yeah, would have been actually an amazing save, but the hitboxes came out and hit Fizz on the bottom side, sending down just early enough. So that was almost a really insane save coming out from JK Zyder with the Qatar weapon toss, yeah. no less. That tiny, teeny, Small tiny hitbox. Hit it's like throwing a postage stamp at him. <laughs> oh, great interrupt from JK Zyder. Once that big hit, you've seen you've seen him go for those recoveries and whatnot, those, those high force moves, but not quite in the right spot to get those kills. Great dodge through from Fizz. Nice the turnaround. turnaround. Downer, yes. Fantastic for the kill. He got the dodge. He knew that Simple was probably going to try to uh, re-aggress onto him, mm -hmm. reinitiate, or at least try to get back to the wall because that's probably the safest yeah. place for you to go. So the immediate turnaround down here was fantastic for Fizz. But Blue still holding on to this first stock. So survivable in the center of the stage. Simple with the ground pound on the right side getting some more damage. Blue gets launched. Was that a weapon toss that launched him so far? I think it was a side air. Okay. I, was, I heard a weapon toss. I wasn't sure if that was the one that connected onto Blue. Axe weapon toss hitting sounds almost, I don't know if it's exactly the same as right. side air, but it's, it's extremely close. I happen to be looking at it. But both Blue team members very damaged now. Red team could get these kills off of either one of them. Blue's, he's hanging on that right side. Surprised to see Fizz not rotate over. Generally in those positions, you're just going to do the quick rotate. Try to help your team out, get that burst of damage in the 2v1. Side signature coming through. Immediately punished by Fizz. Uh oh Offstage, JK Zyder running out of jumps. Blue with the down air will finish the stock. And here comes the 2v1. Gosh, the way Fizz, or sorry, Blue, is able to go mm -hmm. back and forth between members of the Blue team with the Axe. It doesn't have the fastest startup in the world, but the fact that he's able to go back and forth between members of the Blue team is tremendous. But the double kill coming out from Fizz, able to equalize up the stocks when it was looking like the Red team was in a pretty hefty lead, especially with the way Blue was able to survive. Like, they might all be Red, but all of a sudden the Blue team was both dead, and then Blue was barbecue sauce, like, a minute later. Fizz had the offstage onto Simple, but just couldn't maintain the position. Blue was making that rotate over, so he ended up disengaging. Fizz gets caught by the downlight side air. Offstage Simple. Oh, Fizz can't touch! It's all left to JK Zyder in the 1v2. Wow. Haymaker off the new Wow. The fact that he was able to hit with the timing on that aerial of, a, of an opponent was amazing. What's crazy is... Axe Neutral Light has kind of this upward arc to exactly. it. Exactly. And so he arced up and was still able to get that side heavy with the unarmed. And that might have been why he went for so that far. as an option oh, yeah, yeah. over the, the neutral heavy. Because the neutral heavy is going to cover like 
right above you. Yeah. Whereas this is, you're going to kind of ride that haymaker along as those active frames are going. There is some travel, so there's left and right. So if he didn't want to worry about the exact timing, the precision timing for that neutral heavy, that might have been why he went for that side heavy because it is going to be an arcing yeah. motion. He is going to eventually come down. Has more movement in it. So you can kind of ride him along with it. Oh, Fizz. Okay, able to get that touch. JK Zyder was there helping him out, but Blue, was, he was threatening that edge guard with those Katarn airs. Future Light coming up from Simple. Tries to get the early kill onto Climb. Fizz. Following up with that ground pound. It's going to miss. Fizz is going to float JK above Zyder that side, side signature. Oh, JK Zyder's going to fall to Blue just like that. Red team splitting the blue team and just beating out in those 1v1s. Two very strong 1v1 players. They can do that. Angel Sig connects and that will be the kill. And look at the top right. Blue's not even close yep. to being Dude, killed. His survivability is so good. It's so, so good. And my guess is you're not going to see low damage numbers coming out from him after no. this game. You saw him get that early kill against JK Zyder. So... It's not like Blue's slacking or like Blue's running away yeah. or he's playing defensively. Like Blue is in there and somehow dodging around everything. He is definitely present in this one, but you see in the edge card, Simple can't touch, but Blue's gonna convert three, it into three a people, double. Three people just died there and none of them were Blue. A thousand percent worth. Blue got a double for Simple. That's a two for one trade you take any day. Blue has more stocks than the blue team combined. This is why and he is almost undisputed the best player in EU. And I would say undisputed. Still not in kill percent. That time he had the exhausted recovery. He had just barely burned it before. So he's going to finally fall. He will be shut down. But red team looking so strong. What a strong nice recovery. What a strong performance from Blue today. And simple. Yeah. Simple. With the switch over to the Brin, he's been putting out the damage with his axe play. He was just fighting both of the blue team members and still got a kill because he was just putting out those big hitboxes. Nice usage of the Nair to grab one of the members of the red team and move him away from his teammate. There's the side heavy from Fizz. He's going to have to play the 1v1 against the person he's who almost, won yesterday. Oh yeah, when he's almost in kill percent against two stocks. Against the best EU player. <laughs> this, this, that is such a tough ask for Fizz. Now but something... He's doing, he's Something interesting is we okay. haven't seen any side signatures coming no. out from Fizz. It's not even like, oh, the backside of that dare. Let's force on it, Almost though. got it again. That one will do it. The fire. You hear him pop the can, pop the top, and take a sweet sip of that sweet taste of victory. He did 694 damage. Picked up four kills. He only took 268 damage. Only 268. Showing why he is one of the most...